Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to continue our work with uh, Jekyll. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to configure our site so that these links are no, no longer just a link, but rather they will go to um, different pages that we have on our site. And so far, what I've been doing is just kind of, uh, I've created pages, but there's no link to them here. All we're seeing are the blog posts. Um, there are permalinks for these. And you saw me kind of fumble through with getting this configured the last time, but here's, I've got home. I created another one while we were away called about. And so here's Here's the about page. Um, and, oh, interesting. Um, so anyway, so what I want to do next, actually, let me go back and look at home. Yeah, this is my demo site. Did I, hmm, I wonder why that happened. I'll save that. That's weird. What about? There's about. Okay, well, <laughs> there's my about page. Okay, so, um, yeah, that just doesn't match what I was expecting. Anyway, so let's, let's talk about um, how to get that header set so that these links here get replaced with the, um, with the links to the home and the about page. So we're going to, again, work with variables and uh, a little bit of code that, uh, uh, that will um, do some iteration over the, the list of site pages. So if you go into the variables, there's this variable called site.pages, and it's a list of all the pages. And essentially, we can do iteration through that and uh, use that to populate those links so that we don't have this. And so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it this way. So let's get rid of that first part, and I'm going to add in some code. So this is for each page, I'll call it. It's the variable insight.pages. Actually, let me call it for a page. <clears throat> I am going to do the following. Um, I'm going to say that if the page dot title, so if there is some page there, I'm going to replace this link especially the href, I need to change that. Um, I'm going to change that reference to go to a page .earl. And I'm going to tell um, Jekyll to treat that as a relative, relative URL. <clears throat> and for the link, for the name that gets uh, displayed, it's going to be a page that title. Um, and then if there are any strange escape characters or anything like that, those will get replaced out of, out of that. Okay, and then end if. And four. Okay, so what this is going to do is going to read through all of the pages that are in site.pages. Um, if there's a title, so if the page exists, it's going to replace the, um, the reference or it's going to make a link um, that says, um, uh, you know, gives the title and uh, the link to that, to that page. Um, and so the, we should have one list item for each one of the pages that's in the list. So let's do that. 
I've just saved the page and the site got regenerated. And let's see what happens. Still wondering what happened with that whole about part. Oh, and we have links to two. Oh, about is on there. Hmm, huh, that's now really strange things are happening here. Of course, things I didn't expect, but uh, let's see what we're what's going on here. Um, so I have a title, a page that title. And I do the iteration. Okay, I know that there's something really weird going on with this about page that I want to do without. Oh, here's one of the problems. This should be just called about. Um, Why there's another about, I'm not sure just yet. I want to get rid of the permalink. I'm wondering what's going to happen there. I do that. I'll just call this more. I think there might be something going on with my. Um, with the theme that I'm using for this site that's making that happen with the, with the about link. Um, so I definitely now I'm wondering why that's happening because I do have a different name here altogether. It's called more. I think that what's going on here has to do with the with the theme. Yeah, because that's more what I expected about those just kind of appeared. Uh, may, and actually the about is part of the part of the theme and so I'm wondering that's probably what's going on there. Uh, we'll fix that later but for now uh, uh, what we've done is with the header uh, created this um, iterated through all the site pages and use that to populate the um, the menu. Um, actually, there's one more change I do want to make. I want to change this brand piece here so that it just goes to um, the the base URL for uh, for the site, um, which is just going to be. Home. I'm just going to have this go to um, and slash home. It's not letting me do what I want here. So instead of having just the one link to home, we'll have another one. Actually, let me make this site title. All right, let me see if I did that right. Yeah, all right. So. Um, there's a name of the site and you click on that it'll bring you back home. Homeworks, more works, about, this is, this is about the theme <laughs> and that's why this is coming up. That's funny to me. Anyway, um, so that's, uh, that's headers um, and use of iteration in the headers to, to populate the, uh, um, populate the, uh, the menu. Um, in the next video, what we're going to see is I'm going to style, uh, create a new layout file, and we're, we'll do some styling of that. 
um, based on the use of variables again. Um, and then I think we'll be done with what I want to get done with this. Um, oh, I do want to create a link for the blog because now that I've done all this, I don't have anything that links to the actual blog content, the, po the posts, except for going to the base page, which is not what I want. So anyway, we'll fix that in the next video.